Hello, my beautiful Gemini beings. Welcome and or welcome back, depending on which video you have clicked on my channel. We're just going to do a Gemini reading, okay? This new moon in Gemini, I think, I think the moon's in Cancer now at the time I'm recording this, but this new moon that just passed in Gemini, honey, honey, it was serving, okay? Um, definitely, if you need a recap of what happened in your own life, please look to see what house you have Gemini in and or where any third house exists in your chart. Because I feel like what happened around the new moon, Gemini, is the theme that's really being set up for you for the next 90 days, okay? So I don't know what anybody is working working on manifesting affirming i am gonna start turning my comments back on over here well starting with this video i'm gonna turn my comments back on so we can just start talking please um if you're new here <laughs> try to keep your man manifestations and riddles or i don't know like i just see so many people like empty things out in the comments of all different spaces so just be mindful of that but we're just gonna focus on your next 90 days because i feel like what this what this new moon did for you gemini particularly okay is really just kind of like show you where the justice is happening show you where the justice is needed show you your own power okay far as timing goes gemini the ball is in your court okay especially over this next 90 days because we're starting out with three major arcanas so there could be three to six major lessons that you have been learning gemini over the um last year or so <clears throat> excuse me, or there could um, <laughs> be maybe three to six major events, okay? I feel like some of you guys, like, you're getting signs and synchronicities um, from the universal spirits. Like, it's almost, for some of y'all, it may even be almost laughable the way that you guys are ignoring them or dismissing them. So I feel like over this next 90 days, Gemini is really just kind of like a lot of R&R, &R, maybe rest and relaxation, because with justice in the magician coming out here i definitely feel like there needs to be some type of fair treatment or balance that's in order for magic that you've already been spewing definitely seems like maybe things that you've been already creating or it's it's something that's being created y'all here we go with this tripod something that is creating or bubbling up inside of you um i feel like somebody here maybe you've been dealing with like some technological issues this could be business work career this could even be love okay and those things smoothing out over the next 90 days, I really feel like what this magician wants you to know is your ability to conjure comes from your inner willpower, harnessing your determination, your drive. Like, I feel like sometimes we think the magician, right, which is wizards, practitioners, whatever you guys are here, I feel like sometimes we can feel like the magician has to do all the things, put, you know, put their hands in all these different places or you know, that sort of thing. But I feel like what is happening over this next 90 days, Gemini's, I feel like you're kind of finding that the opportunities that are in your midst are um, elevating more when you harness what it is that you want. Planning, I'm hearing planning. The emperor must not be far away for me to be saying that. But I feel like some of you guys, like you're taking a trip down this luxurious lane of it's, it's going to feel like it's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's, it may be bumpy. And I say that because I don't know why some people make it seem like the magician is like an easy energy. It's right after the fool. So this is literally you harnessing the opportunities that you want, you desire after actually getting the courage to be like, okay, I'm going to do this. So here with this wheel of fortune, I feel like things can either be so out of balance and so out of whack for you, Gemini, that this is where, you know, over the next 90 days, you're kind of needing to harness your energy more or the, or they could be so imbalanced and flowing and, and you're missing it. Y'all, this tripod ain't gonna stress me out. Okay. So I just feel like uh, maybe some you, someone here has been doing some return to sender work and it hasn't really been working. Okay. I feel like maybe some people don't like to openly admit when spells or um, certain workings that we're doing aren't really flowing or maybe going right or backfiring. So I feel like this next 90 days, you're again, fine tuning your magic more. Um, I feel like somebody just got cussed out by their spirit squad, honey. Yeah. Intellectual lucidity. I feel like your spirit squad is like, okay, enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> there there's empires that have to come crashing down oh i don't think i've seen this one before indiscretion and truth refuge 
maybe some of you guys here have been ha having uh, some struggles with housing. Y'all, I, I don't know. I think I said this in a sign I just did. Maybe, maybe not. I said it somewhere. We all been playing chicken hot potato with these apartments, and it's actually quite comical. So I feel like somebody here, maybe you've been, um, you're getting, maybe you're getting money back from apartment, your old money from apartment. Maybe you've been collecting your energy and your power back from other places that you've occupied, spaces that was blessed to have you in their presence, okay? <laughs> so definitely oh and if anybody's wondering like where the theatrical gemini comes from my moon is in the third house gemini 12th house gemini rising moon in the third um i think my fortune is in the third house too so that's where that's where that's coming from uh destruction of environment interesting so i feel like maybe somebody here i i maybe okay so i'm not gonna say holding back on your healing gifts and abilities but definitely maybe you haven't been harnessing them maybe things just haven't been harnessing around you or you know more the more you call your power back the more you call your energy back it has to go somewhere i love when i hear all these people say like call your power back call your power back call your power back what are you gonna do with all this power it's and you got to put it somewhere. So next 90 days, put your power or somebody's been putting their power in you. I don't know where that twist came from, but I do have my love. <laughs> I looked at this. I do have my love deck over here. So we will get to that. Oop, just got a little whoop whoop. So maybe that's, maybe that is happening, Gemini. Maybe somebody's putting their power in you or somebody has been putting their power in you or giving power back to you. Definitely feels like you guys is masculine. We're still going to do love, boo. Don't worry. We're just, we're just changing course. Okay. So with vice, I don't know, that kind of feels like outside energy, maybe some outside influences, Gemini, that you may have to check. Okay. Over this 90 day period, or maybe some of you guys have already checked those energies. Um, so I'm going to clarify the magician because I feel like some of you guys are advanced practitioners here maybe you don't feel that way um because the internet is loud and when i say advanced practitioners it's, it exists based off like your chart your ancestor squat your spirit what's being downloaded to you what's being shown to you okay so let me see <clears throat> Ah, Knight of Pentacles. Maybe it's things have been slow, Gemini. Ah, slow and exhausting. Okay. Well, who is this? Oh, King of Cups. Maybe you're, maybe some of you guys watching your masculine feels like things have been slow and exhausting in their life. This next 90 days, you've seen a lot of lucrative opportunities pour in, a lot of like lucky breaks, things just advancing and moving. Like, I feel like, um, <laughs> okay, I'm getting into teacher mode, y'all. So, uh, like in um, RWS, right? the nine of wands kind of talks about some type of exhaustion however i always kind of had this question of like okay so why are everybody so exhausted like what's going on or what are people supposed to be receiving on the other side of this exhaustion and blah 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 so rotate over to the nine of clubs all right playing card meanings um it's you know you're experiencing luck travel achievement this is a lucky break in your business or you know a successful career move or you know maybe there's long distance or some type not emotional distance maybe there's long distance between you and your masculine and you guys have been on this very emotional spiritual journey this quest for self and now it's time to start seeing movement in this 3d realm in this 3d environment so i feel like if someone's tired, like motherfucker tired, it's because you've been experiencing or someone or something, some outside force, right? Um, and y'all, I just watched Star Trek last night, so <laughs> maybe you can't tell me that ain't nobody on no other planet looking at us like, here they go, here they go again, here. And you, and maybe you're seeing that, Gemini, maybe you're seeing more people like complain about earth or have this longing for home or you have this longing for home and over the next 90 days really just kind of seeing what i feel like is maybe the true origin the more um concrete energies of what this nine of wands nine of clubs can be so and then with knight of pinnacles i feel like some of you guys have kind of stuck yourself in this mindset that like money is manifesting slow for you I don't see it as slow. It's just harnessing your energy. So whether you are har harnessing it on one project, one boo, okay, I don't think y'all, maybe some of y'all may not be ready for that conversation, but, um, <laughs> okay, y'all, I have to tell y'all. So I've been driving for Lyft. It's going on like three weeks now, right? Um, and <laughs> I hope, don't ever let, 
to let her come across this ever because she, her energy is real cool. But I had a repeat writer, right? And I had to remind myself, I wasn't always perfect. I wasn't always healing. I wasn't always in my empress energy, okay? And I've already determined that I'm picking her up from her sneaky link or whatever that is, 10 times. But this time that the ride had a stop and it was interesting <laughs> because I know I picked her up from a sneaky link because that's what I had to before. But then we had stopped on what seemed to be another sneaky link. And I was like, oh, I said, oh, this tea is piping hot today. So long story short, I wonder if this is why my phone be acting up. Because maybe if I flip the camera, I don't know. Anyway. So <laughs> I say all that to say, sometimes you're experiencing a clashing of things and a clashing of energies because of outside influences, outside factors, or, or you're just kind of like, or I feel like somebody here, you're being reminded of your growth. Wow being reminded of your growth and i feel like the magician needs reminders of their growth especially i don't know why some I, I don't know maybe this is just me or maybe this is things that i picked up from other realms and stuff like people downplay the accomplishment of moving from the fool to the magician like you know there's always you know hyper focus on the ten of cups ten of pinnacles we got to get the bag you know the two of cups we have to get the ring we have to get the proposal however but going from the fool to the magician and then seeing justice and will of fortune gemini i feel like this next 90 days is that much about your growth your progress your transformation maybe you know the, you know people can smell your transformation honey people can smell your transformation throughout different realms throughout different regions this could be cities or maybe some of you guys you your energy has touched various cities and spaces or this is just what's charted for you because you know you're you so really take this next 90 days um obviously you know keep affirming keep working on those goals but then really just kind of asking yourself is what i'm truly wanting really far away is this person far away is this reality far away this manifestation far away or am i just far away from it based off the decisions that i've been making maybe even based off um treatment of other individuals now i don't know i don't this doesn't feel like any like bad juju karma type stuff but i'm just kind of thinking of like the justices presence in this reading like what does that um sibling air energy right libra want to bring forward to you so i feel like it's going to be exciting i feel like it's it may be a little bit more smooth maybe some of you guys have been a little skeptic of your journey maybe a little skeptic of your path maybe even a little skeptic of your own manifestation skill ability this could even be maybe even skeptical in love i don't know why everybody makes it <laughs> Y'all don't people don't say good things about Gemini and it just so look to some of you guys have more than one spirit animal. Definitely uh just just try to zone in on what they're telling you and maybe not looking it up on the internet. I know that's easier said than done, especially if we're seeing a new animal, right? Or we're seeing something new or feeling something new. We want to go, you know, me as as having um mercury and gemini in one of my charts but then you know it's just a whole bunch of mercury there anyway i always want to go oh let me go fact check and fact find this information or this whatever and i feel like this next 90 days you're really just kind of like clasping gemini on like no i'm prepared enough and i'm going to leap i'm going to act i'm going to do maybe this is your masculine let's move on to love we've been talking about just whatever for 13 minutes but let's move on to love you get some channel messages from y'all forever babe because it feels like masculine energy coming to the surface. So that's the main reason I feel like I'm pivoting. Um, when you work smarter, you can rest harder. Oh, look at the tripod being weird. Okay. When you, <laughs> I like that. When you, when you, what did I just say? When you work smarter you can rest harder is that what i just said i don't y'all don't even remember what i just said okay let's get some <clears throat> excuse me this is my new doc honey okay it is up on my Etsy shop his and her love messages <sighs> somebody had a time last night <laughs> so, <laughs> i just be wanting to say that i hear i heard it on tiktok y'all like 
I think like maybe nine months or like a year ago. Oh, nine months may be significant for somebody here. Okay, healthy being as more nasty messages are coming out, but we want healthy, healthy bodies, healthy babies, healthy, just healthiness. If that's you, if that message is for you, Gemini. Okay, using that little sex magic coming out here. Maybe somebody here just needs the message to come out a little bit more clear. Cause y'all know, everybody don't know what sex magic is. Everybody know what magic is. And child, people don't even think magic is real. So maybe, you know, maybe in the past, Gemini, you dealt with people who took advantage of your your magical abilities in the bedroom. Okay, let's just keep it a buck. So calling that power back, or you have called that power back already, and maybe it makes it makes the parasites restless, okay? So you and your forever, babe, are using your intimate times, your lovemaking to get manifestation results faster and deeper. Ah, we need to be more transparent with each other. What I hear, tell me something good. How can we make each other feel good? Okay, a lot of cord cutting, but I, y'all, these cards be forever trying to get away from me. And I determined that I just need to wait. Um, I need to wait till I'm able to like record on this table. Um. <laughs> for you too because lately the cars <laughs> been flying everywhere and i'll be mad because it's on the floor baby tell me i'm not crazy this love we have is real i know this is called his and her love messages but i always felt like this was kind of like a dualistic message like both of you guys you know want to confirm like okay we're not losing our mind we're not crazy we're not psycho like this is real this is long lasting this is forever so maybe you guys have some built-up cortisol you need to release here with the stress reliever and maybe um making more maybe <laughs> having more of this power couple come to the surface you know a power couple doesn't always start out aesthetically pleasing so maybe you and your boo aren't necessarily in that aesthetically pleasing um stage of your manifestations of your desires per se hi so this next 90 days that that coming out more or or you know it doesn't have to be aesthetically a ple aesthetically pleasing to the world just even it just being aesthetically pleasing but between the both of you guys and that coming out again all right Gemini I'm gonna get <clears throat> a few more messages <laughs> in, the same, in the same ones that's that's wild okay creating boundaries and stop resisting our love all right y'all i hope this helps buddy in some way shape or form you're able to extract something from this reading a little quick insight on your next 90 days i love to see messages about expressing yourself uh, let me flip it this way to make it look a little bit more prettier this is the back of the deck excuse my almond oil hands okay shout out to nivea <laughs> in case you want to sponsor me and then here is the sides you guys a little sparkly silver and these are i believe it's it's either 86 or 92 i'm working on um another deck over here so here yeah let me show you some of the other messages dealing with jealous parasites um i'm proud of you and then bless you yeah let's make love all night so like i said different messages for different things oh the phone is falling okay so all right all my not all my decks i'm working on getting the rest of them up over on my etsy shop okay bye